Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of Fallout 3 Heavily modded playthrough And this time, here on the playthrough I reset my hunger stats and primary needs basically Because some reason they're glitching out Like, I've reset them and it still says I'm very tired And I feel thirsty And I feel very hungry But then when I go into my stats it's, The effects are away So I don't know what's going on with it I might just disable the primary needs if it keeps acting up Since it's, it's getting a bit fucked if I'm going to be quite honest Some of it's it's just not responding when I'm eating, when I'm drinking, it's really glitchy. I don't know if it, that's because compatibility issues with some other mods, I don't know. It's could be anything. God, Lord knows what it is. So, last time as well, we got asked to attain radiation for Moira Brown so she can do some tests. So this is the easiest way, I'd say. Just drink, Rad. Right, uh, I believe that's the right amount. Let's go have a look. Right, there we go. More severe radiation sickness, 600 rads. So let's go talk with Moira Brown and then we will head off into the wasteland, shall we? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> uh, but as ready as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. <laughs> That's amazing, man. I can tell you're positively glowing. <laughs> now, hold on and try not Fuck to move. off. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Uh, fix me up. If I listen closer, I can hear my jeans crying. Okay. So you're experiencing delusions too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Maybe for you, yeah, but... Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Ooh. Ooh. I really hate Moira Brown's voice actor with a fucking passion. So fucking loud and obnoxious. I know that's a character, but ugh. Ugh. the thought of her. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled rim, rim, rims, I crippled ass. So, uh, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Let's finish up that chapter with that line, landmine research. I will not be doing that now. I'm not receiving stress from walking over fucking mines. I had enough of that from Metal Gear Solid. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Uh, I guess. What will you give me? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got awesome. a pretty good haul of them recently. Even though I never use grenades, but yeah, cool. If you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? I hope it's live when you're tinkering with it, Jesus. Oh, I'll head to Minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Ben? I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. I'm sure I could just get a mine and just give it Remember, to him. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Sure I could just get a mine and give it to him and say I went to the playground? There's no way she could easily just tell what I've been, what, that I've been right into the fucking middle of the playground. She's not a bloody mine reader. I see her be moving a bit fast. What's, what's up with this? I'm not complaining. Faster movement's better, I guess. You want something? Wait, have I edited something I shouldn't have? Oh. Uh, no, I don't think I have. Believe it or not. 
Awesome. Let's move then. Out into the wild wasteland. Of course. Alright, so I think I'll just go with the main quests, just so until I get some equipment and some caps. Then once I have some equipment I'll be exploring more and searching dungeons because that's how I normally play my Bethesda games. I normally just go do the main quest for a bit. Maybe for like, till I get like halfway through, maybe a quarter through. And then I... Oh god, this radiation's fucking awful. And then, then I get to like halfway through. And then eventually I'll just uh, explore and whatnot. Farragut West Metro Station. I'm hoping there's some raiders about because I want that the XP for some, for killing them. Because it will be pleasurable. Hold on. I, I still don't understand why I'm level 2 either. I've been doing quite a lot of shit, yet I'm still quite low level. Let's fire a quick save in case this goes tits up. Most likely will. Let's, let's give us a little sneak, shall we? Oh, too late, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I was the one who's going to be saying that. But fuck it, you're going to die. Oh, gun jams. Nice. Now, I managed to find that person in the comments, I can't remember her name. Uh, I'll put an annotation here from who said it. Uh, I finally managed to get the, like, the thing appearing that's basically said your name on it. Well, not <laughs> name on it, what am I fucking talking about? Uh, the sneak indicator. I finally managed to get that up because... It was a thing for Fallout Wonders Edition where you basically enable enable it and it'll work. Seem to be seems to be all the problems are being caused by Fallout Wonders Edition. I think there's a weird way of installing it. Oh mate! That was some matrix shit right there. What about you? If I can hit you. Nice! Oh god, super mutants! No! Take the hunting rifle, take the bandana so we can be our fat solid snake. Let's, let's take some armor as well. And I think I might die, but yeah, I died. Thank god I quick saved, but the plan's basically the same, just don't get killed with super mutants. That's annoying, that minigun in some fucking range. Oh well, let's, let's sneak up I guess. Find Galaxy News Radio, of course. Oh, we hit him. I really like laser weapons, they're really accurate once you have the sufficient gun skill because you will be hitting them from miles away precision accuracy, it's called a laser for a reason because they're accurate as hell and they're concentrated let's boom how far away are we from a level up? Uh, not long not 100 xp Oh, so Fallout Wonders Edition, I believe, slows down the leveling rate, so I won't be leveling up as fast, which kind of takes away a bit of the fun, if I'm to be honest, since RPGs are addicting because you level up, and if you're leveling up really slowly, it's just, it's just not as fun. Wait, I'm have, I didn't even move in that cell, and then I fell off. The hell. Give, give it a shit, and then we'll run, actually. See, those super mutants, their aggro radius is massive. Oh, I'll probably have that way on the way. Who? Ugh. Who's burning what? They're all dead. Burned great right to the ground. Those things, they came out of nowhere. You've got to run. Run! Alright. You're a wise man running right into the super mutants line of fire with a minigun. Uh, well, he's brave, but, but rather stupid. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, let's go into this metro station, shall we? Look, look how dark it is without the light. Fell out. Alright. That texture for the door is beautiful. I love, I love NMC's texture pack. It's glorious. Now... Let's hack it. My favourite... The only reason I'm doing it is for the fucking XP. And you guys... Kn oh! Oh, got it. I did not mean to hit the fucking colon. Oh, they poo. Let's not activate... Well, let's activate it and kill it. Of 
got the metro ticket so it won't attack me so I can maybe get a hit on its inhibitor. Metro security protocol initializing. So 70 XP away from level 1 up. Let's hope we can get to level level 3 by the end of the, the video. 5 XP. That's a bit depressing if I'm going to be honest. Right, what's in this fight? Oh, fucking. No use to that. Those things blown up. And of course, it makes a fucking racket when it moves. Walker. Nothing useful in these walkers. Metro ticket, why not? Even though I've got two already. Alright, let's, let's move on. Oh, that wall, man. Beautiful. I can heal the mole rats already. Wow! <laughs> that was fucking skills! Didn't even mean to aim at that fucking one right here and it just fucking helped me anyway. Let's take the meat anyway. Oh, I, I think I might disable the hunger, although I wish I didn't have to. I wish I just worked and functioned properly because it's a really good idea. I really liked hardcore mode in New Vegas, it was nice and fun. It allowed a lot more depth of gameplay since you'd be hunting every so often for food. It was awesome. Let's try eating now. Ah, doubt it. Maybe if I reactivate and activate the mod again, I don't know. Oh, that's kind of depressing actually. Oh well. Question is, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just kill him here. See, I don't know if I should activate the gas, or is it already active? See, if I activate the gas, I'll kill them, but I won't get the XP. Otherwise, I can kill them at quite a high amount of pain. Why am I trying to pick that? For the XP, of course. Fuck it, I'll do the gas. Oh, I'll be needing those, eh, those books anyway. Let's just, let's just say that. Now, uh, yeah, let's use them. Nikola Tesla and you. What's my skills now? 42 energy skill. That was I'm sure that the books only give you one point, which is kinda gash, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what they were thinking. Surgical supplies, we need that for healing limbs, I believe. Or otherwise did I change that as well? I don't know, I've made this a lot more easier. So you ugh. right. Lunchbox, need that for the fat mines, leaf bore. That could be good if I'm building stuff later. Uh, no. No. Alright, there we go. Rambo? Did I just attack a fucking Rambo? Oh! Yeah, I probably should attack that. That thing's fucking huge. How much XP will this give me since it looks quite powerful? Please give me like oh 25 XP. Wally, what have you got on? What have you got on you? Nothing. Mars mutant mod, you piss me off. Let's have retextures for the Romans as well. That looks kinda cool. Ah, awesome. Attempt to breach lock? No. Why would I want to do that? Fuck's sake. Tenley Town Friendship Station. I love the fonts for the DUI, it's quality. Absolutely quality stuff. Alright, so my game crashed and I had to do all that again. Well, basically stuff in the train station there. Didn't take too long and as you can see I've, I'm 3 XP from a level up. So expect a level up within a couple of seconds if I kill something. I'm, I'm sure there's ghouls in here or something not, so shouldn't be too long. But rather let's search, right? Steam gauge assembly, why not? Ooh. Something in the way of what? Oh, oh God! What the fuck was that thing? Was that a special radroach? Was it just a retexture? I don't know. Right, one XP for each of those, so it should be a level up. Or do you need to break 800 XP for the level up? I don't know. We'll find out. Yep. No, you don't need to break it. Awesome. Oh, mate. Alright, so my tag skills, I believe, were speech. 
uh, energy weapons, and I believe it was lockpick. I'm not sure. Don't think it was. It could be something else. I've not clue. We'll find out. Right, energy weapons. Oh god, what the fuck? Put that up there, and then we'll put. Why is it going up two at a time? What the fuck? Okay. And then we'll go with. We'll put speech up a bit. No. Yeah, let's put speech up. I'm going to have a focus class. I'm going to have energy weapons, speech, and whatever my art tag skill is. We'll, we'll find out the tag skill oh. soon. Uh, right, Lady Killer. What have we got? What's Swift Reflexes? That reminds me of. <laughs> reminds me of DSX. I think it's a GC Denton reference. Okay, this perk enhances your reflexes in bullet time mode. You remain in bullet time twice as long and your sense of time is slowed by an additional 50%. Considering I do not know how to work bullet time, we'll not be taking that. Uh, Lady Killer, I guess. I wish you could get one where it's like, you kill males, like, what, batch, like, what was it, Bachelor or something And what do you call it? New Vegas? What, hold on, let's find it. What is our other tag skill, or can you not tell? Well, I'm going to be going with another skill. I don't know what one it's going to be. Right, so, energy weapon, speech, and I'm going to go with something else. Uh, I guess I'll go with. I'll I'll go with thing with. I'll go with lockpick. I guess. I'll go with speech, lockpick, and energy weapons. Seems a viable class. I don't mind that at all. Right, so let's move along. I'm sure that this is not the way, and since it's not the way, we will be going there. I'm curious on where it leads. So let's give it a go, shall we? May as well. All the time in the world. Well, probably you guys don't, but I do. <laughs> oh. Dead end? No. Oh, this is where I'm going to go. So let's check the other way once I kill this super mutant. Oh, my gun's steady now that my energy weapons has reached over 50. Hold on, I think it's something to do with the two XP points in FEW, FWE. Because that makes the retard playthrough kind of lame, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, is it character settings? Skill advancement. Well, I'm sure I've got F FWE default. I can leave it. I can't do it. Whatever's doing that, I don't know. Wait, that's a super, is that a super mutant retexture? No. I'll be taking that. I'll take the nail board as well. So let's go check down here. What, what's at the other end of this tunnel? May as well. And I want to see if there's any fat work down here. I got a quantum in one of the machines, as you saw, so... Could be something down here as well. And if you don't know, quantums are worth quite a lot of caps. If you trade them to a certain person, who we'll probably meet later. Uh, really, really good idea, collector. It's it's a good idea. F Fetch quest is decent if there's, if it's surrounded with far better, f far more like typical quests where you actually need to do something. So I don't mind a fetch quest in that regard. Alright, so I'm sure if you shoot them in the arms and this mod with FWE on. It does basically no damage. Let's, let's take this along. It take, basically does no damage, therefore balance, and therefore giving it a sense of realism. Like congressional style. I'll be taking that. Class! I'm sure this leads to a different train station. Let's, let's give it a look. And see if we can get any map markers discovered. Because that would be f quite nice. Class. Now, let's, let's move up here. And then we'll be going, oh, is that a quantum? Yeah, but I can't fucking tell with the fucking texture, it's gash. The texture's so weird, hold on, let's quick save again. Right, the texture's so weird that it doesn't glow purple like it used to. I don't know what's doing that. Now for the radar. Who's walking into a broken nav mesh. Of course! Oh, 
Oh! No, don't jam on me! Fuck's sake, man. Oh, it's worse than the time we're fighting, fighting these things with just a knife. That was poo. Kitchen knife. I'll be taking the ammo, of course. To sell. Rad away, rad X, sensor module. Pretty useful for building stuff, some of this stuff, so let's give it a go. I like that, how they've got recipes and everywhere basically has them. So you can make as many as you want. And also, if you run out of supplies, you can, of course, just go and uh, buy them off like, junk vendors like Crazy Wolfgang. It's, it's really nice. I appreciate it. Don't let's take the cherry bomb. I'm sure the camera builds into something, so let's take that. Oh, fire hose nozzle. That builds into the... The thing that fires teddy bears. It's, it's quite good. It's quite a good weapon, as far as I remember. Although I will not be using it. Since I'm not specialising in big guns, perhaps if we have spare XP points by the end, I think we will since for some reason I'm getting 2 XP points per level. Get back here, Radroach. Oh, bollocks. Let's forget him. He's away. He's on his weapon. Oh, assault rifle on the order. Let me just fix my laser pistol. Oh, that's what the skill was. It was repair. I'm a fucking muppet. Yeah, I need to level repair up. Next level. Up to about 100 at least. That's such a shame because I like specialising in a character, but what can you do when the game insists that you build a repair Well, if you specialise in repair, no matter which character, it's kind of lame. After searching that train station for a while and killing a few enemies, as you saw just a couple of minutes ago, I eventually just decided to come back up and follow the, the main path. And I after a while, fra um, the recording software started pooping out on me and it's starting to do so now for some reason. Uh, I deeply apologise for this. It won't happen next time, I'll find a solution. So you're currently getting three frames apparently. Oh man. So yeah, I think this is the end of Fallout 3 Part 3, Part 4. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the future and I hope you stay for Part 5. This won't be happening again. And next time we will be going to Galaxy News Radio. Catch you guys in the future.